In the United States, we operate the safest fleet of nuclear reactors in the world, and Columbia Generating Station is no exception. This is an industry in continuous learning mode, never regarding safety as static. In March 2011, an earthquake and tsunami challenged three Japanese nuclear plants. Fukushima Daiichi fared the worst. When the earthquake hit, they lost all of their offsite power. The result of that was they went in onto their emergency diesel generators. Uh, the reactor core isolation cooling system was cooling the cores in the plant and they had all the backup diesel-driven pumps. Unfortunately, when the tsunami hit, it flooded all the uh, lower areas of the plant where all these pumps are located. And as a result, they didn't have any core cooling. Core cooling is essential after a nuclear plant shuts down. Pumps continuously cycle water through the core, removing what's called decay heat. Under normal operating conditions, Columbia's reactor core is cooled by reactor recirculation pumps but there are multiple other systems available if needed. We've got three residual heat removal systems. So they're all separate, the equipment's in separate areas and powered by diesel generators. In addition to the three residual heat removal systems that any of those three could cool the core, uh, we have a low pressure core spray system and we have a high pressure core spray system and we have a reactor core isolation cooling system. So all of those systems, any one of which can cool the core after uh, the plant shuts down. Keeping these systems powered is the driving force behind this new flexible strategy. In Japan, the Onagawa and Fukushima Daini plants safely shut down after the earthquake and tsunami by utilizing, in essence, the FLEX strategy. FLEX applies additional layers of safety, building on the substantial actions taken by the U.S. nuclear industry after 9-11. Those actions included additional safety equipment, procedures, and training. Columbia Generating Station has multiple sources of off-site and on-site power and just added another one. To increase its already robust safety margin, Columbia Generating Station now has additional redundant safety equipment staged on site. We actually bought two sets in case something happened to one set of the equipment. We'd have a full second set that we would be able to bring in and provide cool, cooling to the reactor core. Not knowing what the event may look like, uh, we've got the ability to, with our front end loader over here, uh, pick up debris that may be in the way of moving our portable equipment and get the debris into the dump truck and then get it out of the way so we can get the portable equipment such as our pumper truck here, uh, which would provide uh, pumping for pumping water from one of our spray ponds to the reactor. Over here, we've got a portable diesel generator. So this provides power to uh, buses that provide power to all of our instrumentation. Uh, we've got things like uh, cables for the diesel generators that we have. So we have two portable diesel generators and we have the cables to be able to connect those up and keep everything that we need powered. We got a large air compressor uh, to take care of ash, blow ash off of uh, the devices that we have, the equipment that we have, and just a, a number of different things we have for ash fall, we have uh, air filters. So they're an oil bath air filter. In addition to the redundant sets of equipment, portable equipment that we've put on site, we also have the National Safer Response Centers with redundant locations that can get us the equipment within 24 hours so that we can keep the core cool. Changes have also been made to the plant itself, with multiple connection points added for the new generators and portable pumps. All of these changes will help make our safest form of energy generation even safer. <laughs>